<laughs> I'm back. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am back from my beach vacation and I came home to a lovely little surprise on my front porch. Which, as you can already read, is Wayne Goss's new luxury eye collection. I mean, I am stoked about this. If you don't already know, I love Wayne Goss. He is like the godfather of beauty YouTube and such a great person. So in the past he has released a lot of makeup brushes that are great quality and then he recently released a luxury lip collection which was great and of course I bought that and did a video as well which I will link down below. His makeup collection is entirely self-funded and that is what is so great about these products because you know they are quality. He's not being shilled out by another brand. He's doing it himself and I absolutely love and support that a hundred percent. Now, if you watch Wayne Goss, you know he is all about natural beauty. He is looking for just that little je ne sais quoi about every single person and how to enhance your already natural beauty. It's none of that caked on makeup, the traditional like beauty YouTube, tons of concealer. Um, he's very natural and very down to earth. And I typically do makeup very similarly, if I'm being honest. And I know there are already a few videos out about this, so today I'm not going to be doing swatches on my arm. You could find a million pictures of them already online. Today, I am just going to do a regular eye look with this palette for the first time. I haven't tried it, and also use the eyeliners that he came out with as well, and we will do a close-up so you guys can actually see what it looks like in real time on real skin up close. And so I'm going to stop yapping at you and we're going to get right down to the nitty gritty. Let's go. Okay. So the new luxury eye collection by Wayne Goss includes a six pan eye palette and three eyeliner pencils. So the eye palette itself is $55. As you can see, it is the perfect blend of beautiful neutral shades. It also includes matte satin and shimmer finishes. It's infused with smooth blend emollients and micronized pigments. There are no special techniques needed. It blends with the lightest touch. The shimmer shade works best when patted with your finger. Very good thing to note. I will remember that. Also, as you can see, the pan sizes on this are so large, which I love. They fit all sizes of brushes. So the eye cold pencils come in three different shades. They are obsidian, precious opal, and rich hazel. I only got two of those just because I have so many other sort of dark black kind of colors in the eyeliner, so I just got the other two to check out the formula. Upon first inspection of the pencils, they look super creamy and like you're able to sort of blend them with your finger, so I'm really stoked about that as well. So let's just go ahead and put stuff on. I have absolutely no eye makeup on whatsoever. Let's do this. I mean, this is the ultimate everyday wearable palette, no joke. I'm just gonna take a little fluffy blender brush with number five right here, which is this just beautiful like camel's tone. I have seen quite a few people talk about how they feel like this is very boring and standard and basic, but for me, this is what I would reach for every day. I also feel like this is a great palette to use on other people as well. Woo! One swipe. Let's zoom you guys in. Okay, here we are with one swipe, mind you. Wow. Okay, I literally tapped it in once, tapped off the excess, and put this on. Okay, other side. Look at that just beautiful. It blended like a dream. I'm going to take a flat shader brush and go in with a little bit of this lighter shimmer and a little bit of this little taupe. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous terracotta color, which is right up my alley because my eyes are more green. So opposite on the color wheel is this beautiful like orangish red tone. So if you have green, hazel, or blue, this would be a beautiful color for you. It's really just a color for everyone, I feel like. just so effortless. I'm gonna take a little bit of that same terracotta and go a little bit under my eye. And then blend them all out together one more time. Flip the hair. Now I'm gonna go in with this gorgeous shimmer shade down here that they said to use with your finger. So let's give this a go. Oh, I love this shade. Can you see that? Do the other eyes match? Okay, to kick off the start of my eyeliner, I'm actually going to use this black shade, which I'm so glad he put in there, because if you're looking for such a beautiful, natural, effortless looking eye, I would typically use a powder liner instead of using something quite so sharp as like a liquid liner. So this matte black I'm hoping is gonna be phenomenal to use as a liner, and we're gonna find out right now. I'm using a little Patrick Ta angled brush. Ooh, it's really powdery. I am excited for this. so slightly down here okay so if you're looking at the difference here just the tiniest bit of a little bit of matte black shadow on the edges just amplified this look that much more and that's all you need to take this palette which you could use for daytime to like nighttime instantly and you could smudge this out even more and make it look even more smoky but oh Okay, let's do the other side really fast and then we'll go in with the coal liner and see how uh, I can make that work with this. Okay, so just to give you guys a reference point, I swatched the two liners that I bought. I did not get the obsidian, which is black essentially. Um, but this is this one right here is precious opal so it's more of like a nice light brown sort of shade and then the darker one there is rich hazel so both of these look right up my alley i love a nice dark to medium brown liner i think it's so much softer than using black and look at that oh my gosh if i can blend it out like that i am in heaven okay so even though i have a little black liner going on already i'm gonna go in and try this out and see if i can't smudge this in and see how well it works the precious opal which is that lighter brown over here just because i don't want to get this too crazy dark and then we'll do the waterline with the rich hazel which is the darker one and sort of just even everything out oh wow that is so creamy I'm gonna smoke this out holy mackerel this is super creamy oh wow okay so I totally applied way too much it's gonna be a smoked out look for sure wow that's such an easy liner to work with very very beautiful so I'm going to try and smudge out this side a little bit these are super creamy so you want to go in with a light hand Whew. so that definitely turned into smoky city which I'm not opposed to it's lovely now I'm gonna go in with that darker brown rich hazel and we're gonna do the waterline up here in my opinion which is really I mean nothing but in my opinion I feel like putting a liner in your waterline makes such a statement even if I decide I don't want to do any liquid liner or eyeliner on the top of my lashes I almost always do liner in my waterline because it just gives your eyelashes so much more of a full effect and makes them look like you have so much more and a ton and I really really don't have a ton so yeah I'm gonna shut up and put this on Ooh, 
gonna add it just on the edge here since I've already got such a smoky eye and sort of just smudge it out a bit. That is stunning. If we weren't in the middle of a pandemic, I would totally go out like this. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Atlash Mascara from Marc Jacobs. I stinking love this stuff. This is shaping up to be one of my most favorite eye looks I've done. I'm gonna go in with Wayne Goss's uh, Essential Lip Pencil in the shade Mauve. It's almost my exact same lip color. Now I'm gonna use Wayne's Luxury Cream Lipstick in the shade Orchid, which just uh, matches that terracotta eye color so perfect. And to top off this total weeny look, I'm gonna use the lip gloss from the Luxury Lip in Petunia. It's one of my most favorite glosses. Okay, let's recap everything. So this is the finished look. It's super sultry, which I was super not expecting uh, because of the nature of the colors in the palette. But I have a heavy hand sometimes when I do makeup. I actually really love this palette. I feel like you guys are probably gonna see me wear this palette in like the next 12 upcoming videos. <laughs> to me, this is an extremely wearable everyday and night palette. You can use it on other people, great for bridal makeup. And the shimmers are so finely milled. The powder is so lovely and soft. I just don't see how it could sink into your lines and make you look worse. The eyeliners are like everything. The only thing I would say about the eyeliner is I put it in my waterline and I do notice a little bit of transfer on the bottom. That's almost every single eyeliner I use because I have watery eyes. So it might just be a me issue, which usually it is. I absolutely love the colors. I think this is such an easy palette. I am stoked that I own it. I believe there's some still in stock. So I'm going to link all of this stuff down below. And if you can get your hands on it and this is color story is up your alley, I would say go for it. <sighs> I'm super happy with my makeup and when you have a good makeup day, it's just a good day, you know? All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you like Wayne Goss and you love beautiful, easy makeup. Hit the notification bell so you can be reminded the next time I upload a video. Now that I'm back from vacation, I've got some new stuff that I'm gonna crank out. I got a skincare video coming up. I have a new clothing video coming up. So lots of good stuff coming down the pipes. Follow me over on Like to Know. I will link that down below. Definitely follow me over on Instagram. I've been doing a few videos here and there that I'm also not doing on YouTube. If it's something really quick and short, I will do them like the new M Cosmetics lip liners, which I did a whole story on as well. So definitely follow me over on Instagram. I will link the swatch chart in the back for you guys below because I know I will get questions on that. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.